And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Seven Days to Die. Well, as you can see, I've got the concrete all formed out here. And all is well. I've got the smelters. I've just got one smelter going right now, so I was able to turn the rest of them off. Which should help the screamer situation and allow me to start digging uh, these mountains out. So you can see this right here. That's how far out that skirting will go along that edge. And obviously this skirting will have to dig into the hill. So I kind of went through and evened out all the slopes in there. So I know exactly where the cutoff is. And we got to do the same over here. But a lot of this has to be dug out. And I would like to try to either get an auger... I want either one of two things, an auger, which would help speed this up, uh, or a nail gun, which would also speed it up. Both would be nice, but you know, I, I, I would do just fine with one or the other. A nail gun would really help with setting up this concrete much, much faster than that silly hammer. So we've got a, a drop ship, a supply drop way up here. And I think it's an ample time to go up here, grab that supply drop, and then come down here. And I think this is an actual, uh, it's one of those radio tower things. And you get a bunch of worker zombies that spawn around this. And I want to see if we can kind of score um, a, a, a decent drop with one of those. If not, I might meander over to this working stiff. I have no idea how long it's been since I've been over here. Um, so if we can't get anything in these two drops, then I can just run over here. Um, so to save time in the episode, I will run up to this supply drop off camera and pick it up from there. So I will be right back. All right, here we go. We are at the supply drop. And no luck on that, although we've got uh, nothing really, nothing really special on that on that supply drop. So if we go directly, almost directly south, might as well read these schematics. That'll bring my gunsmithing up just a little bit. I've been picking up some uh, the chrysanthemum uh, for future use. I want to, uh, it's used in a couple recipes for decorative blocks and I kind of would like to use it. Oh, I heard a, heard a groan somewhere. There he is. A black bandana. All right, let's see if any of the special zombies spawn around this place. Ooh, bird nest. You get a, quite a few birds nest in this biome. This is nice. It's a nice biome for that. You can get a lot of them. Oh. That was a bunch of zombies spawning, a little hitch. Yep, there they are. So let's make sure we're not going to get snuck up on behind us here. Try to take these guys out. Whoa. Oh, he fell through the world. That's not cool. Oh, mini bike handlebars. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Really? Oh, what are you getting? No love right now. No zombie. No zombie love right now. Uh, weapon smithing? Yeah. I'll take that. 
I'll take a little weapon smithing. Oh, I tore apart a bunch of this stuff. I think it was probably looking for scrap cable. It wasn't quite doing it for me. Oh, it's locked. I still haven't opened that. Let's do that. Three swings, four swings. And hunting rifle. Okay. So, nothing up here. So, let's check to see. Rabbit! Yeah, if I follow this and go through the farm and south, I should be able to hit that working stiff. Now, that working stiff may or may not have regened its loot already. I'm not sure when the last time we went there. I mean, it's. I know it's been a couple days, but I'm not 100% sure when exactly it was. Could always get lucky on one of these cars. Nope. I'll take the brass. I'm going to scrap this and this. Don't need the jar. I'm going to scrap that just to clean up my inventory a little bit. I'm trying to collect all of the different types of clothes. Anything good in here? Got to be careful for for things and stuff. Okay, well, it doesn't look like any loot is in the floor. Sometimes you'll find it under one of these panels. Oh, like this one here. There's something right in between. Oh, clubs? Really? That's rather... How about some poo? How about... There we go. Uh, grain alcohol? Sure. Um, I could check these, but these are usually tin cans. Other miscellaneous things that we don't want. Not at the moment anyway. I want to save my inventory for things that we need. Well, that is a big rock right in the middle of the road right there. How does that happen? Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so this is the the new distressed farm. They uh, made it so it actually looks like it, you know, it hasn't been tended in a while. Ooh, there's a... I want that chicken. Need its feathers. Okay, hunting knife. And I don't actually want the meat, so I'm gonna put that put that back. Well, there's just zombies all over it. Yay! Athletics goes up. Everything is going up. Okay, is this the uh, bridge? Yeah, I have to go across this bridge here. I would go a little bit deeper, but uh, my inventory is already running low. I'm already probably going to have to make some tough decisions if this working stiff has respawned its loot. So let's get ready to rumble here. Bunch of cars that I can take... You know, I can tear down and start getting ooh, oil. I can start getting uh, parts off the cars. I'm going to need a whole lot of batteries. Another rabbit. Good thing you're not a chicken. Oh, it looks like this did respawn. All these guys. It's one of the one of the keys is uh, the POI respawns its zombies when all of its loot is going to be respawned. So 
a little bit better. Oh, where did it die? There we go. There we go. Let's see how many headshots I can get here. Oh. Oh, these guys are tough. Those guys are really spastic, boy. They just are flying all over the place. Nothing really I want to sacrifice inventory space for. So if we look, this should all be untouched now. Uh, glass jars. Nope. Let's get back in here. So all these should be untouched again. Holy Moses, look at all this stuff. Nails, anvil, ooh, fertilizer. I'll take the fertilizer. Okay, so paper, glue, pistol I can sell, beef I don't need, bandanas I don't need, egg I don't want. So fertilizer, handlebars, and mechanical parts. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, a little something. Uh, more stuff that I need to scrap. Although that sledgehammer is nice. I think I'll keep that around. What is that? Uh, 56 damage compared to my 25? Yes, please. I can't repair it or anything because I don't have any, I don't have the schematic for it. But uh, that will do. Iron shovel, I can scrap that. Wood frames I don't really need. Let's go back to the back room here. Make sure I've got all this here. This one I did already. That one I did already. All right, let's uh, turn my light off. It's getting a little bright. Tool and die, nice. And a good, good, decent wrench and some wood. Electrical parts, let's check these other ones. I'm, God, I was hoping for, I was hoping for something good here. Nail gun receiver, I think I've got one of those calipers. I do have a set of calipers. It would be nice to have an extra one. Holy cow. Oh, there's a nail gun. Sweet. Okay. Now for the tough decisions here. Nail guns coming with me. All this iron I can scrap. And it takes a couple minutes for that to get through. And now look at that. A level 600 wrench that I can upgrade and fix with another wrench right here. So I don't need the water, I don't need the grain alcohol, don't need the handlebars. Uh, I want the engine, nails I can scrap. Wrench and repair kits are good. That I can scrap. All of this stuff, tool and dies don't, don't stack. See how I'm completely full. Okay, I still have a bunch of stuff in here. I wish I had a workbench. It'd be nice to have a workbench in here. That would really help. I know there are workbenches around the around the the world in places, and I'd really like to um, find some of those, tear them down, bring them in. That would help me consolidate a lot of the loot that's in these really important spots here um, but we've got uh, the weed cleaver uh, jar of honey uh, nine millimeter round I don't need so let's take that wrench this I can scrap this I can scrap this I can scrap car battery would be nice I want to put the electrical parts back and then make another run here. 
because there's a lot of stuff in here that I would really like to have. Look at the anvils. Iron pickaxe. I'm going to scrap you. Nail gun receiver. I can repair with the repair kits I've got. Uh, and that goes in here. So I want to be careful about filling that inventory slot up. Uh, mini bike handlebars I can s get rid of. I would scrap them, but my scrap is getting a little full. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to make another run back here with an empty, empty inventory. Because otherwise I'm just going to run out of room. I'll take some of the iron stuff just so I can scrap it on the run back. But at least we got a nail gun. That's that's very, very good. Oh, that's... There. Now the doors are open. Now I've got to run home and try to drop off some of this stuff. There's the nail gun receiver that I can use to upgrade this one in here. And there are these end caps here that I've got uh, that I can, that I have to go loot to grab and then use those to upgrade as well. Oh, I wish cars had some more useful things in them besides just nothing. So yeah, that was a a decent run. We got a nail gun. We got one of the two things that I was really going for. Although the auger would have been so nice to have. Uh, even though that it makes a lot of noise, or I shouldn't say really noise, it creates a lot of heat that draws the screamers in so it really only takes um about i don't know four or five minutes of using an auger for a screamer to spawn so it happens pretty fast and obviously if you keep using it they just keep coming pretty much constantly oh let me get my quick axe out I've been doing a lot of mining underground, trying to build up the resources to, you know, because we're going to need a lot of steel to upgrade all of those. Uh, ooh, let's try to sledgehammer this putrid girl here. Yay! So all the, all the new spikes that I have to put out, um, all those are going to have to be upgraded to steel to be super effective. Ooh, yeah, you got some stuff that I want too. So we're going to need just probably, I don't know, four, four and a half thousand steel just to upgrade all of those uh, spikes. So I'm trying to build up enough iron down in our mine to do that. And it's coming along quite nicely. I've got quite a bit of iron saved up. Plus the amount of iron that we're going to have to use to upgrade them from, from wood to scrap, which is 100, 100 iron each to upgrade that. So that's a few more thousand. A few more thousand iron. Which is a little easier to come by because, you know, every bit of raw iron that we get is five of the regular iron. So it doesn't take very long. You know, a stack of 5,000 raw iron will give us 25,000 actual iron to upgrade. Which, even 25,000, I mean, that's, what, 250 spikes to upgrade? Which technically isn't a whole lot. So, we're going to need at least two stacks of that to be sure to upgrade everything.
All right, see our trees all nice and in a row waiting for us. Growing nicely. Once those are grown, I'm going to be harvest. There's so many thousands of wood once these things are fully grown. You know, they take three or four days, maybe three days, three full days to upgrade. All of our concrete is dry, which is good. Just a whole lot of digging. I was hoping for an auger, but it seems the auger is one of the rarest things in the game. Even my other world, I have problems finding the parts for it. All right, put all this stuff away. And that will wrap up the episode. Uh, yeah, in between episodes, I'll just finish off my inventory, run back, grab the rest of that stuff, and um, sort that out and continue on our base here. Um, I'm not sure, you know, what you guys want to see. Uh, not a whole lot of comments on these videos. So if you want to put your two cents in, you know, feel free. Uh, I read all the comments, so uh, please do that. I always read the comments. So you can see here I'm smelting down some raw iron for those future spikes. But again, that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.